farm. This is during session. This is during a session when uh, there is GMO legislation pending, HB 174. I don't think this should be allowed. That's uh, Mark Phillipson, a Syngenta lobbyist, head of Syngenta and lobbyist. There's a bunch of lays here waiting for people. I'm giving you a panned view. Here's the remains of the Ahu, the um, structure that the uh, statue of uh, Haloa was constructed uh, two years ago by anti-GMO activists. Uh, we got some, we got some people here. We got some GMO labeling people here. Let me ask him what's up. I'm, you're live on the internet. You got, tell me. Oh How dangerous is that? Yeah, get get right I'm in trying, his shot. Trying to get in his shot here. Let's see. In the background of his shot. How close can I get? You can get. Here. Let's get close. <laughs> this is our house. This is our house. Yeah, we can, up. we can put the sign wherever you want. You can you can get right up to him if you want. I've been joined by uh, Steve Sullum of New Jersey, formerly of Ina Heine. We're in front of the state uh, capitol building where a bus is going to kidnap uh, a bus full of uh, GMO lobbyists. They're going to kidnap some legislators and take them on a tour. Can I get away too? I'll, I'll move around and you can see what that looks like. And I am too hard on lobbyists you know, for buying legislation. Because you can't buy, leg you can't buy without a seller, you can't buy leg legislation without legislators willing to sell it. I mean, this is... We're in session in Hawaii. There is a very mild GMO bill on the table, HB 174, which requires the labeling of produce, not any processed food. I asked the uh, State Ethics uh, Commission um, whether this was legal. So this bus is going to pick up legislators and then uh, take them to a location to uh, get a presentation by mainland farmers who were who won an essay contest who were flown in there are some protesters here people who want GMO labeled who, who question this sort of thing I am here to find out who's gonna get on the bus you know what I'm saying I wanna know who's on the bus we're gonna follow them here's the bus I'm thinking here's the bus. <laughs> There's a. Ch you're live on the internet. Okay. John good. Steelquist, you're yeah. the uh, chair of the Makiki Neighborhood Makiki board. board. Okay, well. Now there's a question here whether this is. Uh, how this is legal to take legislators while it's in session onto this junket and have a presentation by pro-GMO people. I, there's I'm not some sure the pro-GMO. I was told it was agriculture. We had a couple of presentations from both sides on our board. We did. In fact, I was there for, for yeah. both of them. One yeah. by Cindy Goldstein, who was a lobbyist for, uh, for um, DuPont, yeah. who didn't identify herself as such. I want to put a I want to put a proposal into the neighborhood board saying if anyone makes a presentation, they have to identify if they're lobbyists yeah. or not. And I don't know if we went back again, but uh, a month or so ago, our board passed a resolution favoring labeling. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's yeah. great. We'll see if we can find out how many legislators are we waiting for? Uh, I'm not sure. 
Well, you're hiding the list. I was, I wanted oh, to show the people uh, that. the list I mean, of... The people, uh, the people on the list were invited. I saw the invitation, yeah. It was legislators. You're not going to let me see the list? No, because you're not part of the event, unfortunately. I am part of the public. I'm providing a public oversight of government operations. And you are a taste of egg. Becker Communications... That's a PR firm. They're not letting me see the see the list, but I guess we can see if this guy's like blocking the view here. I'm gonna get in. Monsanto. They're taking this. I I'm here to provide public oversight of government operations. Now, you're the lobbyist and head of the local uh, Syngenta, um, and, and you're moving really close, which is yeah, okay. Yeah, it is okay. Wh which is okay. Good. Now, at the hearings, I saw you went to uh, Umeke and had an organic lunch, which is kind of telling. Do you actually eat GMO? And why is it right that you can kidnap legislators and then try and influence them while legislator, the legislature is in session and while there's a GMO labeling uh, effort on the table. How is that legal? How is that, how is that ethical? Well, I'm not going to get an answer out of uh, Phillips and of Syngenta. we got a great group here. Look at that. People want labeling. The event is uh, sponsored by Hawaii Crop Improvement Association. Hawaii Crop Improvement Association, this is a nice name, but it's basically, it's not basically, it's entirely a GMO lobbyist group. Uh, Perlac of Monsanto, Philipson of Syngenta, Cindy Goldstein, I call her Cindy Frankenstein, but that's rude so I won't. Cindy Goldstein of uh, DuPont, uh, rep uh, lobbyist from Mycogen, BASF. They're doing this taste of egg. And where are the laws made? Right here. And if you're from Hawaii, this is your house. This is your hale. This is where they make the laws. Unfortunately, we got a system We got a system that allows the uh, buying and selling of legislation. I blame the lobbyists a lot, but you know, you can't buy legislation un unless somebody's selling. And it's not under the table, it's over the table. And it's right here. And it's a beautiful table. I mean, it's a core wood table. And you know who paid for this? You know who paid for this? Did the lobbyists pay for this? No, you paid for it. There's a bunch of uh, GMO activists. You're live on the internet. Thanks for showing up with these labels. Citizens are watching. That is, that is like my motto. Absolutely. Let's follow. Let's follow along. them and then we're going to try and follow them out to uh, Kunia. Well, a lot of legislators you can uh, they had the option actually to drive drive themselves out to Kunia. Oops. Becker guy the, the PR guy didn't want uh, that's what it says here I'm gonna get right up here Taste the bag farm to their, you know. I think if there are any legislators that are going, they're going to be. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a pretty good. Your the label it sign actually has a label that label on it, and I think yeah. that's really good. <laughs> what what Just brings you out here? What brings you out here? 
you know, I've always cared about what I ate, and I care about it for my family, and I now care about it for my friends because when you find out that you know GMO products are in all the soy and corn products, processed foods that we have, um, you know, what about the health of everyone in the country? It's it's really scary. Uh, the secrecy scares me. Why can't they allow it to be labeled? Um, the, the type of agriculture that will be um, done, which is not sustainable, more pesticides, more herbicides, all of that. Um, That's great. I'm glad to see you there because I'm for labeling too. I'm actually for, oh, thank you. I'm actually for getting GMO oh, out the off, off the island, totally off the country, and off right. the damn planet. Anybody want to say anything? We're uh, live on the internet. We are not criminals. <laughs> no matter what those guys say, no matter what the GMO guys say, speaking out is not a crime. <laughs> Wait, but you're you're supposed to be part of an extremist cult. We are. <laughs> Constitutionalists. <laughs> we're natural sovereign people. That's we're we're, we're an ex 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 a dying breed. Now at the same time, this is happening on the uh, island of Hawaii, on the big island of Hawaii. There's going to be two marches. There's one in Kona this morning, yes. and there's one in Hilo in the early afternoon. Last week they had 2,000 people marching on, in Kauai. That's cool. And that's with a population of only 67,000 people. That's great. And the week before that there were 1,000 people up in Haleiwa. I was there, and I know a lot of you guys are there too. The people are speaking out. Yeah. It's the people's house in back here. Yeah. It's the legislatures that are in the VIP transport. Thank you. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna back up and get. Kunia uh, really sucks. We're at the official uh, taste of gay. went in. Not a lot of people picked up in the state capital. We were prepared. And initially we wanted to keep it pretty small just making them know we were watching them. We're watching every single thing they do. Uh, and we could have put out an event but we didn't want to. Uh, right, right. We didn't want to alarm them and have them bring like 50 cops. And, you know, we just want to be able to take pictures and document who's going in and make sure that everyone has access to the information about who's drinking the food. told to come here for the same reasons, ah. you know, for but, education. But you, so you didn't get in at all? So I didn't get in. I did negotiate earlier that we get to, I get to go in and bring someone in, Yeah. Uh, bring a, a person that was in, I uh, actually was told to come in, that was Pono Kelon, so right. by Melissa Yee, uh, so that we could, and we, you know, we were also in viral with it, because we were willing to go in and take their tour and learn more about Monsanto. So, so right now, we're going to go. Um, so right now, um, we're, um, we've been told that we can't go in. So you have to leave. You've been evicted from Monsanto. <laughs> when well, we want can, to evict you, us. She can stay here and protest. Yeah, you can stay here. You're welcome to stay here. Yeah. Why can't she go in? Here. standing there other cars were going up now why can't my car that's go up? right you know other citizens that that are um, uh, there to, ed to uh, be educated on Monsanto you know I have a different view yeah. but from them however I think that I should have had the opportunity to take my car up there but obviously so our legislators are in there getting food and drink <laughs> yeah I'd like the list can we get a list? Maybe I'm on the list, so maybe I'd like to take a picture of the list. I want to know which of our legislators are in there getting food and drinks to influence legislation, you know? 
You're buying legislation. I want to, I want to know who's selling legislation. Love you guys. Listen, yo, I appreciate you so much. I gotta go because these pesticides are starting to make me feel sick. I can feel it in my stomach. Uh, I don't want to start getting the, the changes my voice a little bit if I have too much exposure and right. I've been exposed. I've been poisoned by pesticides now three times protesting, and I don't want to make it a fourth. And